Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm in the same outfit as my previous video, the 25 week pregnancy update, but I really wanted to film this. I'm going back into my notes because I've made notes of this. Um, I do this video like every year towards the end of the year of setting goals for the following year. So I thought I might share with you once again what my 2021 goals are. Um, and then I would love for you guys to jump down in the comments and share your goals. So my first goal is to find inner happiness. I feel like with 2020 obviously being a crazy, 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 crazy year, um, I feel like I've been on a crazy journey of motherhood. I feel like I've lost a lot of Taylor. Um, I've dedicated a million percent of myself to my kids definitely my nine month old she was born in february 2020 two weeks later we went into lockdown so i was dealing with learning to become a mom of two my then my baby cried all day had colic was vomiting wasn't sleeping um i really dedicated my time to her i feel like even my time was taken away from my oldest girl um, because I was so concerned about my baby. Obviously, she's a baby, so she can't really tell me what is wrong. So, 2021, I want to really focus on doing things that make me happy. Don't feel guilty for doing things for myself, even like getting my nails done. I haven't had them done since February or maybe March. I took them off during lockdown and I finally got them done. Um, getting my hair done, just even putting a tan on, just things that would make me feel guilty because it takes away time from my, my husband or my girls, I felt guilty about. So yeah, finding inner happiness, finding Taylor, finding who I am, even though I'm having a baby again at the start of next year, I feel like going into being a mum of three, I'm going to be a lot more open-minded, go with the flow, I'm someone that's not patient. I'm going to try to learn patience, but finding inner happiness to be happy because I just feel like it just makes doing things, little things for myself, even working out, going to the gym, finding that time, no excuses. It's just going to make me a better mom. And that goes into my second goal was to make myself a priority. I put myself on the back burner. I literally have aged so much in 10 months um because my daughter will be 10 months on uh, thursday so when this video goes out um and i've just like i just feel run down and just ugh, motherhood but yeah definitely make myself a priority number three is to get back into the gym if you followed me in like 2018 i lost a lot of weight i really dedicated my t time for myself I would go to the gym, put Zendaya into crash. I was struggling with um, trying to conceive at that time. We had two miscarriages in a year and took a long time to conceive Zahida. Um, so I used the gym as my escape and it really, really helped me. It helped my mental health, but also at the same time, my body changed. I became a lot more happy with myself. I became more confident. I became more healthier. And that is my end goal is just to be healthy for my kids. I want to set a good example, even though I just asked my husband to go get me some chocolate on his way back home. Um, pregnant life, but yeah, definitely find time, get back into the gym. If I have to wake up early, go to the gym. I live like five minutes away from one. Go home, go to it after my partner gets home. It's just definitely finding time. I don't think I'm ready to go to a gym and drop my kids off. Um, definitely with Zahida, she is so bloody clingy. I cannot describe how clingy she is. So it's definitely it will have to be when dad gets home. The next one is to find my passion for fitness. So, yep, I was so passionate about fitness and health and being healthy. And I find I am 2019, uh, 20, yeah, 19, I got pregnant, sort of like. Oh, I'll just eat, eat this, eat that. And then I started to get really dedicated on it and then got pregnant again. And then my energy levels are down. So I feel like I've lost a lot, of, a lot of motivation, but at the same time, my body is really struggling in this pregnancy that working out is not a priority, but to just keep my body moving is. Um, yeah, so I would love to find my passion doing weights and just putting headphones on, smashing out an hour, coming home. That's my goal for 2021. 
then I need to find a great balance with my kids individually. Um, I need to learn to spend time individually with my kids. It's going to be really hard again. Newborn will be coming in April, maybe early, uh, maybe late March. Um, but I feel like my time has been taken away from my oldest a lot and I feel really guilty. She asks us so many questions and she's like really, really into learning. So um, she's not in daycare at the moment. So next year she will have be her last year um, home and then the year after she starts kindergarten. So it's like primary school. So I that's why I really want to learn to have um, individual time with her as well because she before I know it, she'll be going to school for five days a week. But at the same time, next year I want to focus on her to get re her ready for school. <coughs> so yeah, she's not in um, daycare at the moment. We pulled her out during the COVID time because her daycare actually had a few cases of COVID. Um, we, we just decided to pull her out. So I'm in the process of actually trying to find one around my area because everywhere is bloody like 300 people on a waiting list. We do have one uh, one opening right near us but it is so bloody expensive but the convenience of it is it's literally walking distance so she loves school so I don't I feel guilty for sending her because I'm her mom and she should be home but she loves school so much she loves to learn and I've seen that since she's been out of school because she asks us so many questions and she wants to learn <laughs> it can get quite annoying because she'll ask the same question different ways multiple ways um, throughout the day she asks the same question so she's so ready to go back to school she's been asking to go back to school she actually thinks she's going to primary school next year but she's not um, yeah so it's just individual time with my girls um, and get ready get Zendaya ready for primary school the second last one is make my relationship a priority two kids pregnant your relationship sort of gets pushed back a little bit um actually about two weeks ago Marcy and I got eloped we've been together for six years we have two kids one on the way um so we'll have three girls we've got a dog we've got a house we've got a car um I'm extremely extremely lucky I'm extremely extremely blessed to have an amazing man someone who I can trust I've never been in a relationship where I can 100% trust someone he is so committed to me and his family we are his number one priority and anyone that knows him knows that he's the most trustworthy, hardworking, dedicated human being. And I want to spend that one-on-one -on -one time with him. I need to learn to ask for help, ask people to watch my kids so I can spend that time with him. He does work like five to six days a week. So it is like sometimes I feel really guilty for being like wanting my one-on-one -on -one time with him. And then it's taking it away from the girls. But... I want the girls to see that mummy and daddy have a really good relationship. They rarely see us argue. We don't yell in front of them. Um, or sometimes we have. But um, yeah, making my priority, making my relationship a priority is definitely a goal. And then my last one I've mentioned before is patience. I'm an extremely impatient person, which is not good when you have kids. You have a four-year-old and a nine-month-old and a newborn. So I'm, I think it's just because I'm so tired um, I feel like I've been tired for two years because what well, I was well, longer I was going through trying to conceive journey which is completely if you've going through it gone through it it is so bloody draining and then I've got pregnant and then I got really tired throughout that pregnancy and then I got cholestosis in that pregnancy so I was literally out of it um, had baby girl newborn tired got pregnant tired so Patience is not that great at the moment. It is slowly like eating me up. I try not to yell, like I try not to. But yeah, I just really want to learn some patience because I have three girls. <laughs> so I need to be patient. Even though it's okay sometimes if you're just like, oh my God, okay, okay, guys, stop. Stop what you're doing. You need to stop. Like, leave me alone. It is okay. But those are my goals for 2021. Like I mentioned before, please comment below and let me guys know what your 2021 goals are. I really hope you guys have an amazing 2021. I know 2020 was really hard for a lot of us in different aspects of life, different ways. Your hard may be different to someone else's hard, but we all got through it. And I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll see you guys in 2021.
one. My last year in my 20s. I cannot believe it. Oh.